want him. We're moving house soon, so Mummy says we should give away some of our old toys. She wants us to put old toys that we don't play with anymore into a big box, then take them to the charity shop for other children to buy. Are you okay, Tim? No, Mummy. I don't want to give away our old toys. Oh, Tim. Come on. One step at a time. Help. Thank you, Topsy. <laughs> okay, Topsy and Tim, please try and find some old toys and fill up this box. I don't want to, it's not fair. We love all our toys, Mummy. Oh, please try to find some old toys that you don't play with anymore. Um, oh, you could start by looking in here, Tim. There you go. And I will come back in a minute to see how full the box is. Oh, this box is full of all my old cars. Oh. And this one was always my favourite. <coughs> come on, Tim. You need to be putting some of your old toys in the box. I don't want to. I'm going to try. Bye-bye, old Teddy. <gasps> Topsy! <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Keep on throwing the toys down and I'll catch them. Bye-bye, <laughs> knitted zebra. So I throw Cheeky Duck and Knitted Zebra and Digger down to Tim and all my other toys from the shelf too. Bye bye Monkey Hen. Bye Big Monkey. Finished. I've hidden everything, all our old toys, under the bed, so we can keep them. <laughs> can I see? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Chicky Duck. Have you finished in there, twins? <gasps> <gasps> We're going to have to tell Mummy that we want to keep all of our old toys, Tim. I know that. Apple juice and biscuits for the workers. Oh. Why aren't there any old toys in your charity box? You say. No, you say. We're, We're sorry, sorry Mummy. Mommy. We hid all of our toys under the bed. We want, because we want to keep them. Oh, Topsy and Tim. You don't have to give away your old toys if you don't want to. But it would be a very kind thing if you did. Why? Well, because you don't play with them anymore, do you? And other children might like to. We're moving house soon, and that's the perfect time to get rid of anything that we don't need anymore. I've decided that my toys can go in the box. about this, Topsy? Yes. I don't play with them anymore. And other children might like to. Oh, that's very kind of you, Topsy. Good girl. Tim? I don't want to give away my old cars, Mummy. Even though Topsy's giving away her teddies? No, thank you. But someone else would love to play with your old cars, Tim. Really? <laughs> How about if you chose one to keep and you gave the rest away? OK. I know exactly which car I want to keep. This one. <laughs> My fast Good flashing choice. car. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Topsy. Oops! 
Excuse me, Tim, coming through. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> the charity shop are going to be so pleased with all of our old toys, aren't they? Oh, they really are, Topsy. Mrs Odell. Hello. I'm Robbie from the estate agent. Come to put your soul sign up. Oh, great. Thank you, Robbie. Oh, Mummy, please may I help Robbie put the sign up? Yes, of course you can, Tim. Just stay safely on the front lawn for me. OK. Sold. Yes, sold. Somebody is going to buy your house. Did you know that? Yes, they're called Trish and Sam. We've met them and they're going to have twin babies. That looks like a good car. This is my favourite car. It goes really, really fast. Look. That is a great car. My little boy, Peter, had one just like that, but he lost it at the beach. Hmm. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Will he? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away, and I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car, and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Thank you. You're a very kind boy. You did it, Tim. Well done, Tim. I'll never give you away, Little Moon Bunny. Mm. Never, ever. And I'll never give you away, Dr Sausage Dog and Eddie Teddy. I love you two. <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, Soon there will be new baby twins in this bedroom. Soon there will be new little baby twins in this bedroom, Topsy and Tim, and all their toys. Oh, yes. Sam and Trish are going to have new twin babies, aren't they? Mummy, I'm going to find one last old toy to leave in this room for the new babies. Oh, okay, Me too! Tim. All right, you two, but not right now. Back into bed and snuggle up. It's a great idea, Aww. and you can both do it in the morning. Right now, it's time for sleep. Night light, Twintastic Topsy, Twintabulous Tim, and all your toys. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we cleared out some of our old toys. Can you remember which toy I gave to Robbie? Was it Chicky Duck? Or was it my fast flashing car? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tim's fast flashing car. Watch this. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Will he? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away and I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim... My little boy will take very good care of your car and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Where are you going, Mummy? To a restaurant, Topsy. Please, can I come? I'll wear my fairy dress. Oh, not tonight, Topsy. Anyway, it's a special night for you two, remember? Oh, yes! Tim and I are swapping bunk beds tonight. Tim's sleeping on the top and I'm sleeping on the bottom bunk for the first time. Mummy! Dad! 
Look at me! I'm on the bottom bunk! That will be your babysitter! I'll go! Tim! It's our babysitter! Careful, Topsy! I'll get to the door before you! <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Fishbrook. Hey. Hi, Danny. I'll come in. Hello, hello Mr. Fishbrook. Hello. hello. Here we are, Danny. Don't forget your stuff. <laughs> Mr. Fishwick lives next door. His granddaughter, Danielle, is babysitting for us tonight for the first time. Oh, lovely. Oh, that. Do you like babysitting, Danielle? I love babysitting Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Danielle has done lots of babysitting before, so she'll look after you. <laughs> Thank you for babysitting for us. Hi, Mr Fishwick. Hello there, Joy. <laughs> right, I'll be off. See you later, Danny. Bye, Grandad. <laughs> Bye. 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 I don't want to go to sleep until you're back, Mummy. Oh, Topsy, please go to sleep as usual for Danielle. Will you come and see us on our new bunk beds when you get back, Mummy? <laughs> of course I will, Tim. Oh. Danielle, the twins are swapping bunk beds tonight. <gasps> Exciting! I'm on the top and I'm on the bottom! Wow! Now, be good, you two. You've got our number if you need anything, haven't you? Yeah, 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 we'll be fine. Okay, okay. Fun. see you later. Night, night. <laughs> be good. Night, night. Oh, I'm going to sleep until you get back, Mummy. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm on the top bunk. Okay. Your slippers, Danielle. Oh, thank you. They're funny. <laughs> These are my favourite. Look at that. <laughs> okay, up to bed for you two. Aww. We usually have a milky drink before we go to bed and a biscuit. Oh, well, come on then, help me find the milk and biscuits. Here's the milk in the fridge. <sighs> Danielle is nice. She lets Totsie wear her funny slippers. <gasps> Up to bed, I think. Someone looks tired. Not yet. Sometimes Mummy lets us play on the computer before we go to bed, Danielle. Really? Well, I don't think I should put the computer on, but I have got my tablet in my bag. I'll have a look. Topsy, I want to go to bed soon. I want to go on the top bunk. I know, but I want to stay awake until Mummy and Dad get home. <sighs> OK. Does your tablet have games? It has games and stories, and sometimes I use it for my French homework. What's French? French is the language they speak in a country called France. French people say bonjour to say hello and bon nuit to say goodnight. <laughs> Up to bed, sleepyheads. Come on. Bon nuit. <laughs> bon jour. Bon nuit. Bon nuit. I don't think <laughs> I can get up the stairs in the slippers. Oh, dear. We brush our teeth until Danielle says, stop. Stop. <laughs> and have a nice rinse. There we go. Lots of water. Well done. There we go, Tim. <laughs> Went to my nose. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Oops. It's a little bit wet. Uh -oh. <laughs> Your top's all wet. Tim. I think you need dry pajamas, Tim. Mm. Come on, let's go find some. I think we're in the wardrobe. Danielle can't find any of my dry pajamas. So Tim has to wear a pajama top of mine. Okay. Who can get into bed? The fastest. Me! Here we go. Come on, Tim. <laughs> I won. No, I won. I think it was a draw. <laughs> it's funny being up here. And down here. <laughs> Can we have a story, please, Danielle? Oh, I'd love to. I've got a great one on my tablet. Ready? Listen. Once upon a time, there was a princess. She lived with her mummy the queen, her daddy the king, and her many, many pets. <laughs> and 
and the prince and the princess got married and, and lived, lived happily ever after. <laughs> Bonne nuit, Topsy and Tim. Remember, that's good night in French. Bonne nuit, Danielle. Bonne nuit, Topsy. Can we have a night later on, please? Of course you can, Tim. Bonne nuit. Right, Topsy and Tim. Tim, are you still awake? Yes, are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. <laughs> Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning. Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh. Remember, we still got bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Why are you wearing Topsy's pink pyjama top? Oh, <laughs> Danielle couldn't find one of mine. My pyjama top got wet. Hello, Mummy. Hello. Did you enjoy swapping bunk beds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. Bonjour. <coughs> you speak French now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour means hello, Danielle told us. Oh. Can Danielle baby says again for us, please, Mummy? And that's when Mummy said. Really nice. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Time to get dressed, twins. And that, said Mummy, was that? <laughs> this one. I maybe, like this one. Maybe not that one, maybe this one. What do you yes, think? yes! This one. That one. Oh. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Topsy and I swapped bunk beds. But can you remember who slept on the top bunk? Was it Topsy? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tim. Watch this. Tim, are you still awake? Yes, are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning, Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we still got bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! On the day we moved house, I was awake early. I was too excited to sleep. Topsy, are you awake? Yes. Tim, you'll wake up Mummy and Dad. Oh, sorry. But I just wanted to check in the garden and see if Dad packed my quad bike. He did. Great. Remember that time when Tony March wouldn't get off your quad bike, Tim? Yes, I remember. <laughs> Hi, Tony Welch. How are you? I'm fine, Mrs Odell. Thanks for inviting me to play with Tim. Oh. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tim. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Come hey, on. Tony, come on. Bye, Tony. Be good. While we wait for Vinda, 
Mummy shows me how to make icing. Yummy. <laughs> Mummy, where is Vinda? Oh, I'm sure Vinda will be here any minute. Now, come on. Let's ice these cakes before the icing goes hard. Tony, my turn now. Please, can I just have one more go? something else that was fun that we did in this house. Remember when we looked after Kerry's guinea pigs? But they got out of their cage. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Shh. <gasps> I heard squeaking. It's coming from very nearby. <laughs> You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No. I think we're the only people awake in our house. So quiet. Listen. monsters with Dad. <laughs> yes, I remember. about moving house today. Tim, I got an idea. What? We could dress up and surprise Mummy and Daddy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Um, oh, look at this. I have oh, this. this. No, actually, this. Yeah, this. Do I look good? Yes. You look good, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Glasses! <laughs> and binoculars. And a hat. Do you remember when Tony and I dressed up as a horse for Vinda's birthday party? <laughs> Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, 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 right. Hurry up, you 
too? Wow! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Come on, Tim. Let's go and wake up Mummy and Dad for the last time ever in this house. Yeah. <laughs> Something. What are you two up to? Mommy, we couldn't sleep. We're too excited about moving house. Oh, now come on, let's get all this off. Get back into bed quickly for me. Good girl. Hope you get quickly, quickly. Back into bed, good boy. Okay, let's bed us up. <laughs> good girl. Snuggle up with little moon bunny. And that's when Mummy said. I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room. I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room, Topsy and Tim. And now you're all grown up. Please try and go back to sleep for me. We will. OK. It's a good boy. Night-night. OK. Night-night, darling. I'll try. Good girl. Night-night, little moon bunny. Night-night, Eddie Teddy. Topsy, what do you think moving house day is going to be like? I don't know. Shh. Try and get to sleep. OK. Of course, moving house day was amazing. And we got a very special goodbye present from our neighbour, Mr Fishwick. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Oh, hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr, Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can, can keep, keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Bye, <laughs> your fingers. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. Wash your hands. Oh, yes. Mummy's got out, so Grandma's looking after us. Carrie, Ray, and Tony Roach are here, and we're all playing with Mossy the dog. So, what do you want to play next with Mossy? Let's play doggy football outside. Oh, she loves playing in the garden. Yes, let's play fetch with her ball. Oh, we could teach her some tricks. Uh, I know, doggy racing. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> What, what do you want to play, Mossy? Mossy? Where's Mossy? Oh. Mossy? Where is she? Where's she oh. Mossy? Oh. Shh, shh. Did you hear that? It was 
just coming from that big box. Oh, it's Mossy. Oh, she was hiding in the big box. She was playing hide and seek. That's <laughs> what we should no, play hide and seek. Yay, I love playing hide and seek. <laughs> We're going to play hide and seek. Yay. I'll be the first to seek with Mossy. Is that OK, Grandma? Yes, oh. good idea. Now, everybody hide. Go on. One, two. to Grandma. Come on, Mossy. You can help me find Ray and Kerry, Tony. OK. Let's look in Mummy and Dad's room. You can't play hide and seek anymore. You're just too good at finding people. Sorry. Grandma, please, can you look after Mossy for me? Yes. I'll she's... make sure she stays with me. She's just too good at finding people. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Hi, Kerry. Found you. Oh. I found Kerry for you, Topsy. Great, but where's Ray? Oh, I don't know. I saw him running upstairs, Topsy. Oh, we're coming. Go on, Tim. Come on, Kerry. Come on. Where did Tim find you, Kerry? I was hiding in the big box, Topsy. It was such a good hiding place. I wish I'd thought of hiding in the big box. Let's go and find Ray now. OK. Uh, look everywhere. I give up. <clears throat> Me too. It looks everywhere. I know who could help. Mossy! She can help us find him. Is that OK if Mossy joins the game again, Tony? OK. Yay! Yes. Great. Right. I'll go get her. <coughs> Mossy is the best at finding seekers, and I know her nose will help us find Ray. <coughs> Mossy leads us to the bathroom. Oh, we should have looked in the bathroom. Ray, are you in there? If I say yes, have I won? Yes. yes. <laughs> well done, Mossy. Let's play hide and seek again. And Ray, you can seek this time. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mossy. Come, Come on, Mossy. You can hide with me. Hey, I can't open the door. What? Jeez. Will somebody help me, please? Try tickling the locky thing. Sometimes it gets a bit stiff. Doesn't it, Tim? It still mm. won't open. Oh, oh no. no, you're stuck, Ray. I'm just locked in the bathroom, but can somebody get me out, please? Don't, don't worry, Ray. I'll get Grandma to help. Grandma! Can you see us, Ray? Sort of. Not really. Don't worry, Ray. My dad's a firefighter, and he can get anyone out of anywhere. Good. And if he has to, he can drop down the door with an axe. Wow, cool! Oh, excuse me, everyone. Sorry, Sorry Kerry. Grandma. Can you hear me, Ray? It's Grandma Odell here. Yes, I can hear you. Just wiggle the lock a bit. It's stuck. Joy, is that you? Mummy! I think you better come upstairs. Nothing right. 
I told Mummy that Ray was in the bathroom and he was stuck and he tried jiggling the lock. He still can't get out. OK, all right. Hold on. Ray, are you OK in there? Yes, thank you. But can you please get me out? <sighs> yes, of course I will. We'll help you, Ray. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Topsy, will you go and get my toolbox, please? Yes, Mummy. So, Mummy took the handle off the bathroom door. Ah, oh, yeah, nearly there. Oops. Topsy, could you hold these screws for me? Thank you. And Tim, can you hold the handle for me? Thank you. Right, let's see if this works. Are you ready, Ray? Yes. OK. We'll give them back to me and we'll see if we can get this fixed. Mm -hmm. Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> That'll be Dad! Come on, Tim! Oh. Hello! Hey, Hello. Dad! Hey. We tell Dad about our hide and seek game. And that Ray got looked in the bathroom, but Mossy found him and Mummy got him out. Oh, well done, team, and well done, Mossy! And that's when Dad said, our new house will be even bigger for playing hide-and-seek. Our new house will be even bigger for playing hide-and-seek, Topsy and Tim. I know, and we'll have a downstairs toilet and a bathroom upstairs. Yeah. So try not to get locked in those, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's it, Grandma, was that? So where else were you hiding today? Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we played Finder Seekers with our friends, but can you remember who got locked in the bathroom? Was it Carrie? Or was it Ray? Answer is Ray. Watch this. Can you hold the screws for me? Oh, thank there you. There are four of them. And Tim, can you hold the handle for me? Oh. Thank you. Right, let's oh. see if this works. Are you ready, Ray? Yes. OK. Good fun. See you soon. <gasps> They're here! Kerry's mum and dad are at the door. They're having dinner with our mummy and dad tonight. It's a goodbye dinner party for grown-ups. Because we're moving house tomorrow. Hi guys, come on in. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi, Joy. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> oh, I made this trifle for pudding. Oh, thank you. Can we help with any last-minute packing? No, no, thanks, Carson. We're all set for the moving van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hello, Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Oh. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Maybe. But right now, you need to say goodnight to everyone and I'll come up and tuck you in. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night. 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 Come on. Mummy tucks us into our beds. Night, night, night my top-tastic twins. Night, 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 Mummy. Straight off to sleep, please. Tomorrow is a very busy day. So we lie in bed for ages and think about moving house tomorrow. But we can't sleep. Right, yes. 
him. Yes, stop saying. I think I'm too excited to get to sleep. Me too. I'm wide awake. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we'll be in our own separate bedrooms in our new house. These bunk beds will be in Tony Wilcher's house. Oh, yeah. This is our last night of sleeping in our bunk beds before we give them to Tony. I'll miss our bunk beds. I'll never sleep on the bottom bunk again. And I'll never sleep on the top bunk again. Let's hop round one last time. Yes! I wonder what they're laughing at. I'm going to go and see. Come on, little moon bunny. Come on, Tim. Happy little moon bunny. Did anyone see you? I don't think so. I saw Mummy. Did you see the trifle? No, I didn't. Why don't you go down and get Daddy Daddy and see it? Okay. <laughs> Eddie Daddy and I go to spy on the trifle. <laughs> See the trifle, so I get a little bit closer. <laughs> How long did that take? Not long, actually. About 20 minutes. Because you, you ate the first two attempts, obviously. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the custard, I didn't make the custard from scratch, I have to admit. Well, it looks absolutely incredible. Who wants them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> okay, I'm eating the trifle now, Topsy. We go back to bed and I think about the trifle until I hear them leaving. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the lovely dinner. Oh, thank you for coming. I'm really going to miss having you so close by. Remember, we're only moving two roads away. Oh, you still bring Kerry over to play. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll come and wave My you off tomorrow. Oh, and um, I hope Topsy and Tim enjoy the trifle we left for them. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Get home safely. Bye. See you later. Mm -hmm. Trifle. Topsy, are you still awake? They've left some trifle for us. Hooray! Shh. Shh. Quick, get in 
going to bed. Mummy and Dad heard us and came up to our bedroom. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Dad. Topsy, Tim, have you swapped bunk beds again? Why aren't you both asleep? We were too excited about tomorrow. Sorry. Mm, sorry. And that's what Mummy said. That's, that's okay. okay. Moving house is a big, big adventure. That's okay. Moving house is a big adventure, Topsy and Tim. I don't think I'll get much sleep tonight either, but I'm going to try. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about waking up and having trifle for breakfast. <laughs> the whole thing? The whole thing. And that is worth going to sleep for. And that, said Dad, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today, Mummy and Dad had a goodbye dinner party for grown ups. Can you remember what pudding Carson and Dominique brought around? Was it trifle or was it a cake? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is a trifle. Mm. Watch this. Hi, guys. Come on in. Oh. Hi, Brian. Hi, Joy. Thanks for inviting us. I brought a trifle for pudding. Thank you. Can we help with any last-minute packing? No, no, thanks, Carson. We're all ready for the removal van in the morning, as you can see. Oh. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Going in a minute, Mossy. Okay. Sometimes, Grandma looks after us when Mummy's at a meeting. Then, when Dad's back from work, we drive to Grandma's house for tea. <sighs> hey, Mossy dog, you hungry buns girl? <sighs> Where's that daddy of yours? He knows Mossy needs feeding. I'll go and get him, Grandma. Lovely. Dad will get you home for your tea soon, Mossy. Oh, it's OK. Only you live nearer to me. We can walk <laughs> over tea. Here you come, Topsy. Thank you, Grandma. Okay. Won't be long. Okay. Dad! 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 We need to go. Sorry, but we can't go. Yeah, but I need to find my house keys first. They could be in here. Oh, Dad, look! There are some keys. Look at these old keys. No, none of these keys are my keys. My keys are two house keys together on a key ring. But thank you, Topsy. Whirly whirly straw. I thought I'd lost that. Oh, good. Put it on top for later, please. We're in a rush. Okay. I can't lock the front door until I find my house keys. Oh, you help me? Okay, I'll help you. Thanks, Topsy. You're always losing your keys. Hmm. Dad, we tried looking in the coat pockets like last time. Oh, yes.
Yes, good idea. Let's go. <laughs> oh, poor Mossy's hungry. Not long now, Mossy. Where are these keys? Side table. I'll be with you in a minute, Grandma and Tim. What did you say, Brian? Why is your dad taking so long? Shall I go and find out for you, Grandma? Oh, yes, please, Tim. I know. Could you help me find them? Yes. Good boy. I knew where your keys would be. Where? Here. You always find stuff down the back of the sofa. Oh, yeah. Didn't Miss Maple say that at nursery school? Yes. Miss Maple found a gold ring in her sofa. It could be in here. Anything, Tim? No. <gasps> Dad, look! TV remote! It was down the back of the sofa all this time. Thank you, Topsy. But I need to find my house keys first. My plane! I found my plane we made ages ago, Dad. That's good. Meow, meow, meow. Keys? Tim, did you find my house keys? Oh, no, sorry, Dad, no keys. <sighs> Topsy? Meow, meow. Telly off. Please, Topsy. Topsy! Tim! Where is everyone? Brian! Ouch, you're hot, Mossy. Ugh. Let's see what's keeping them all. Grandma, Dad's lost his house key. Oh, not again. Poor Mossy's hungry. <coughs> Tim, take Mossy, please. Oh, OK. We could have walked home by Mossy. now. Mossy, poor doggy. Mossy, I found your ball. <coughs> Catch. Yay! Yeah. Spit it out. Spit it out, Mossy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Catch. <coughs> And that's when I saw something. <laughs> something really funny. Tim, look! <laughs> it's Dad's keys. Dad, we found them. We found your keys. Great, let's go. Your house keys. Where were they? Well, I was trying to get the ball mm -hmm. when it bounced inside, when I had to look behind the door, and there they were, in the front door. The keys were hanging out all the time. Silly me, that's where I left them. <laughs> Dad! Oh, sorry. Thank you, <laughs> Topsy yeah. and Tim, for finding my keys. <laughs> let's go. Please. Yeah. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So we all got back in the car and Grandma told Dad off in a funny way. You will always be my silly billy boy, Brian. But your keys are in the door all the time. If you didn't live this side of town, we, we could, could have walked, walked home, home by, by now. now. And that's when Dad said... When, when we, we sell, sell our house... When we sell our house, Topsy and Tim, I suppose we could buy somewhere nearer to Grandma. I don't want to 
want to sell our house. I do. I want to buy a new house closer to Grandma, and then we can see Mossy whenever we like. Where is Mossy? Mossy! We forgot a Mossy! Oh! I'll go and get her. <sighs> Mossy! Sorry, Mossy! <laughs> Sorry, Mossy. And that's your dad was that. to us today. This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Dad lost his house keys. But can you remember where we found his keys? Were they under the sofa? Or were they in the front door? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is, the keys were in the front door. Watch this. Catch! Yeah! yeah. Smith it out! Smith it out, Mossy! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Good girl! Catch! <laughs> oh! And that's when I saw something. <laughs> something really funny. <gasps> Tim, look! <laughs> it's Dad's keys! Dad! We found them! We found your keys! Great game! That was good fun! See you soon! Tim, I want to be as tall as a kangaroo! And We've got an animal height chart in our kitchen! Right, Topsy and Tim, who's first? Mummy measures us to see how much we've grown. I'm always taller than Topsy. You're a cheater now, Topsy. Yay! <laughs> I'm a cheater. I'm as tall as you are. Your turn. Come on in. Let's Thanks, get you. That's right. Oh, you've grown too, Tim. Yay! But you're not yet a pony. You're still a cheater. It's not fair. I'm as tall as you are. I'm as tall as you are. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be a pony before you are. But you're still a cheater. You're both cheaters together. Yeah, we're cheater twins. Rawr! 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 I've got a job for two cheaters. Look. Are those sunflower seeds, Mummy? Yes, they are. Mm. Can we plant them? Please double, double please, please. Double, please. You can. And if you plant them somewhere sunny in our garden, they will grow into lovely tall sunflowers. And Tim? Thank you. And you can keep them safe in these pots. One, two. There we go. One, two. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go and plant them. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Don't forget your trowels. Oh, yeah. We won't okay. know that. our garden even though it is very very small and the lawn is not real grass it's plastic grass <laughs> look it's a worm can I have a turn please Tim yes but let me first Ooh, it's all slimy let me have a turn okay you The worm might eat our sunflower seeds, Topsy. No, worm doesn't eat a whole seed, could it? No, but I'm going to keep it in my pot, just in case. Oh no, I've lost one of my seeds. Oh, where's my seed? I don't know. 
Oh no! It doesn't matter. I've still got both of my seeds. We can share them if you like. Thanks, Topsy. Now let's plant them. One. Two. Three. I'll go and get some water. OK. I'm going to keep a worm in my pot. We put our seeds into the soil and water them. Our sunflowers will grow really, really tall, just like us. There you go, all covered up. Topsy and Tim, time for lunch. OK. Coming, Mummy. After lunch, we'll check to see if our seeds are growing. OK. You can come to lunch too, little one. Wash, please, Tim. Oh, okay. You too, Topsy. Come on. Super wash, please. Coming. Mm. We love cheesy potatoes. It's our favourite lunch. like cheesy baked potato or maybe carrot or broccoli what have you got there tim it's my worm oh so i see and this pot here is its house well tim worms live in the garden so come on outside please but i'm trying to keep the sun flower seeds safe from the worm it could eat them Outside, please. Aww. Thank you. Off you go, Wrigley Worm. But Mummy says that worms don't eat sunflower seeds. Worms are good for the soil. Hmm. Our sunflowers aren't growing, Tim. Hmm. Mummy, when will our sunflowers grow? Well, it actually takes quite a long time. They'll just be getting tall as we move house. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we want a moving house party, don't we, Tim? Please, Mummy. OK, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's have a bye-bye barbecue out here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> and that was ages ago, wasn't it, Topsy? Yes. Today is our Bye Bye Barbecue Party. Hello, here we go. Nice. There you go. Nice. All our friends and neighbours are here. Because we're moving house in... Four days' time! You are as tall as a cheetah. Yay! Mummy is measuring us all. Our friend Kerry is a cheetah. Oh, Tim, you've grown. You are now a pony. <laughs> yes, I'm a pony! <laughs> I'm to learn Topsy. No! <laughs> Actually, Tim, I've already measured Topsy, and she's a pony too, look. Oh, but I'm a taller pony than Topsy. <laughs> it's enough silliness, Tim. You're both big and tall now. <laughs> hey, why didn't I show Kerry? Our sunflowers outside. They're taller than all of us. Are they? Show me. Come on. Come on, Come on Tim. Tim. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! Our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. And remember the seed I lost? Look. Now I know where I dropped it in a plant pot by the shed. Look, it grew into a big sunflower too. Sunflower. And that's when Dad said... Your sunflowers will be lovely for the new people who come to live in our house, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we can plant more sunflowers in our new garden. Hey, great idea, Topsy. <laughs> Brian, Topsy 
Lucy and Tim, come over here, please. Girl. Right, we just wanted to say thank you to you, all of our friends, for coming to our Bye Bye Barbecue. <laughs> it's only four days now until we move to our new house. <laughs> <laughs> you will all come and see us in our new house, won't you? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yay. Well, the barbecue's ready, so everybody tuck in. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we planted some seeds in our garden. Can you remember the name of the flowers that grew from our seeds? Were they sunflowers? Or were they daisies? The answer is behind the clouds. Answer is sunflowers. Did you remember? Watch this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ta da! Our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. Great game. <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon. Today has been this knights and princesses party, and we're going to dress up and be knights. Look at me, Tim. I'm a knight. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Do you know, <laughs> Louise, Ray, and Andy Anderson yeah. are all going to be knights as well. I don't mind. I'm a red knight. Yeah. Come on, Tim. I've got your green night costume ready for you to try on. In a minute, Mummy. Hurry up, Tim. Oh. Quack, quack, quack. Hello. Okay. Oh, I see. Come on, Tim. Please, can you try on your night's costume now? No, I just want to finish my game. Nope, don't worry. Yep, yeah, we will take very good care of Tony. OK, bye. <gasps> what wonderful news. What is it, Mummy? Tony Welch's mum is about to have her baby. She's on her way to hospital now. Wow! <laughs> so Tony is coming to our house. His dad's going to drop him off. Great! <laughs> will Tony come to Binder's party as well, Mummy? Yes, you will be invited. So we can all go together. I wonder what Tony will be dressed up as. Probably a knight. I look out for Tony while Tim plays. I can see a car! It's Tony! He's here, Tim! And he's wearing... Oh, he's in his normal clothes. <laughs> hey, Tony, in you come. Good luck at the hospital. Hi, Tony. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Tim. Hello, Tony. Where's your costume? My mum didn't have time to make one, so I'm going to go like this. Good. I'm going like this, too. But everyone will be dressed up, apart from you two. I don't mind. I don't mind either. It's up to you two boys, but we're leaving for the party soon. You could choose something from my dressing up things, Tony. No, thanks. My next party is going to be a, an animal party. What animal will you be? A horse! <laughs> I'll be a horse too. Like this one. <laughs> I've got an idea for Binder's party. Come up the stairs. OK, Tony.
Here they are. You need these, Tony. Fractic bottoms? What for? We're going to be a horse for Vinda's party. A night horse. How are we going to do that with these? Well, with my two legs wearing these and your two legs wearing those, makes one, two, three, four legs. The four legs of a horse. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'll be the horse's front legs. You can be the horse's back legs. This is going to be fun. Put them on, Tony. Tim? What are you doing? I wish you and Tony would dress up for Vinda's party. Please. Yes. Tim, <laughs> we'll be leaving for Vinda's party in ten minutes. OK, Mummy. I found my horse's head. Cool. Can you take these eyes off for me? find a tail. Nay! 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 <laughs> Great! Now let's use one of Dad's long football socks as the tail. I'll hold the horse's tail at the back. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. <laughs> you tell the boys we're ready. Tim, Tony, it's time to go! We're coming! Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left, now right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Walking together. I'm sure. Are you okay back there, Tony? Yes, thank you. Well done, I'm sorry I didn't wear your Green Knights costume you made me. Well, that's okay. I think your horse costume is much better. <laughs> I hope you want to be a knight another time. Yes, please. <laughs> Now, I think I should take a photograph of you all. What do you think? Yes! OK, come on round here. Grab my camera. Why don't you go round here so Mummy can see you? Perfect. You get yourselves into good positions. Come round here for me. Tony at the back. Lovely, are we? Horses. <laughs> are we ready? One, two, three, smile! Hey. Perfect. Now, back. who's ready to go to a party? Me! Me, me, me I am. Me. <laughs> A red knight with my very own horse, <laughs> and together we've got the best costumes, haven't we, you two? Yes. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> oh, hold on just a minute. I've, I've just got a text message. It's from your dad, Tony. And that's when Mummy said, Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. Tony's mum has just had a baby boy, and his name's going to be Jack. Jack! Jack! Jack, I like that name. Yay! I think you will make a brilliant big brother, Tony. I will. Yay! I'm a big brother. <laughs> Should we tell everyone about baby Jack at Vinda's party? Yeah! Come on then, let's go! To our song And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering 
Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tim and Tony dressed up as a horse. Can you remember what they used for the horse's head? Was it an old shoe? Or was it a welly boot? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a welly boot. Watch this. Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left, now right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left. Right, left, 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 right. Hurry up, you two! Wow! Hey, hey! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Go. <laughs> Go on. Can we see what's in our party bags now, please? Yes. Oh, oh, even there was a face painter at Vinda's party, and we had cake and party bags. Look, a whistle. <laughs> 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 what have you got? Uh, a pirate! Oh. Ooh, arr, I'm going to make you walk the plank. Oh, arr, arr. What's in your party bag, Topsy? We'll have a look in the minute, Tim. Where's Mummy Dominique? Oh, she's gone to see uh, her friend, remember? Uh, come on. I'll take your shoes off for you. <laughs> Mummy's gone to see her friend Julie, and she won't be back until late. Dominique is looking after us until Dad gets home from work. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to play, Topsy? I don't feel like it, Dominique. Oh, that doesn't sound like you. Are you OK? I don't feel very well. Please, can you take my butterfly face paint off? It's itchy. Of course. Come with me. I feel really hot on me. Well, it has been a busy day. Now, just hold still while I take off this last little bit. Oh, oh don't scratch, sweetie. Uh, oh. Come out here. Two red spots on your forehead. Oh, come on here. Let me see your tummy. You've got one, two, three spots on your tummy as well. I think you've got chicken pox, Topsy. Chicken pox? Yes, lots of children at nursery have had them recently. Andy Anderson and little Stevie Dunton had them as well. I don't want chicken pox. I want my mummy. Oh, I know. Tell you what, I'm going to call the doctor and then we'll phone your mummy. How about that? Come on. Thank you, doctor. Yes, I understand. OK, bye-bye. Oh, poor Topsy. Dr Price said your spots are chicken pox. Please, can we speak to mummy on the phone, Dominique? Yes, we'll call her now. Dominique phones Mummy's phone, but Mummy doesn't answer the call. Now, now, Kerry, Tim, please will you quieten down for me? Why? Because Topsy's not very well. She's got chicken pox. How do you know Topsy has chicken pox? Because she has spots. Look. Can I see your spots, Topsy? I've got two on my forehead and three on my tummy. What does it feel like, Topsy? It's all itchy. I want mummy. Poor Topsy. That's 
visit it. Time to get into bed now. There we are. <laughs> Snuggle down, sweetie. When I'm in bed, Dominique wipes off Tim and Kerry's face paint in the bathroom. But Topsy's the only one with chicken pox spots. I brought Dr. The sausage dog for you. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Can I see your spots again? Oh, you've got some spots in your cheek now. One, two, three spots. I've spoken to your dad on the telephone, Topsy, and he's going to come home as soon as he can. Now, he asked me to give you some of this medicine. Just one spoonful. Have you tried calling Mummy's telephone again? Yes, but it's still switched off. Sorry, mm -hmm. Topsy. I did leave her a message, though. Mm -hmm. That's OK. I've got this on my bunny to cuddle. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Now, will you try and get some rest for me? OK. <laughs> Thanks, Dominique. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> get well soon, Topsy. Later, Kerry and I make Topsy a Get Well Soon card. And smile. Look, I've drawn a picture of Topsy, Tim. <laughs> that doesn't look like Topsy yet. Can I do something, please, Kerry? I've drawn some red spots on Topsy. <laughs> now that looks like Topsy now. Hello? Where are you all? <laughs> Topsy! Are you feeling any better? A little bit better. Come and sit over here, Topsy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Look, Topsy, we made a card for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's spotty, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Mummy! Oh, it's you, Dad. Hello. Oh, hello, my little Topsy twin. I hear you've got the chicken pops. Not the chicken pops, Dad. <laughs> the chicken pops. <laughs> How are you feeling? A bit, a bit better <laughs> now that you're here. Oh, good. Now, how about I take over from Dominique? I'll look after you instead. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with them. Oh, poorly Topsy. You're welcome. After Dominique and Kerry go, we all snuggle up under a blanket on the sofa. Dad lets us watch a film right to the end. The end. Right. Time for bed. You both need a good night's sleep. <sighs> I think you've got little Moon Bunny. Oh, where's Moon Bunny? Where's Moon Bunny? Did I get her? Can't we stay up until Mummy gets back? No, I'm sorry, Topsy. It's important you get your sleep. But Mummy will come straight <laughs> up and give you a kiss when she gets back, I promise. OK? I'm back. <gasps> Mummy! How's my top-tastic Topsy? I've got chicken pox. Oh, so I hear. I rushed back as soon as I switched my phone on and got my message. I missed you. Oh, darling. Go say hello. And how is my twin tabulous Tim? <laughs> Have you been looking after Topsy for me? Yes. Kerry and I made Topsy get well soon card. And that's when Mummy said. Tim, you're so hot. I think you've got chicken pox too. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Oh, you Just both... like me. You've both got chicken pox. They probably look like that. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. <laughs> no more play dates or parties until you're both better. Well, that's right, Topsy and Tim. But right now, it's time that we got you two into bed. Come on. And that's the mummy. What was that? that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our 
our top scenes here memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Topsy had chicken pox. But can you remember who else got chicken pox? Was it Dad? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is me, Tim. Watch this. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Here we go. We found these sticks on the way home from nursery school. Look at my funny stick, Mummy! Oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sticker! <laughs> Hello, Sticky! My favourite is this funny knobbly stick. Sticky is the best stick, Tim. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> You're a very good stick finder, Topsy. I know. Look, she's even got a face, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a face. <laughs> she's funny. Yes, she is funny. What a wonderful stick collection, Topsy and Tim. Can you put them down here on this newspaper for me, please? OK, OK, Mummy. Thank you. <laughs> right, who's thirsty? Me! <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> and Rossi! They're here! Hi, Jean. Hello. Hello, Hi, everyone. Grandma! Oh, what a walk we've had. We need a sit down, don't we, Mossy? Hello, Mossy. Oh, Oops. Let's go, girl. oh dear. Sticks? Oh, Grandma. Oh. It's our fantastic stick collection. <gasps> yeah, we got these sticks mm. on the way home from nursery school. Did you? What's that one? It's my favourite one. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> His name's Sticky. Oh. He's got a face, head, arms and everything, really. Well, that's Hello. fantastic. Nice Hello. to meet you. Can I have a little look at him? Oh, isn't he lovely? I tell you what, Topsy, why don't you put him down with all his other sticks? I think he'll enjoy that because I want my Hello Grandma Hubble, Topsy and Tim. Squeeze! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> sticky! Mossy's got sticky! Oh, Mossy. You know sticks aren't good for you. to look. We're good at finding things. Thank you, Tim. And tell Topsy not to worry. Sticky will turn up. OK. Please show us where you've hidden Sticky, Mossy. I'll let you cuddle little Moon Bunny if you do. Come on, Mossy. Mossy. <sighs> She's really tired. It was a long walk to our house. Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mummy and Dad's bed for Sticky? No. I'll go and look there for you. I look under Mummy and Dad's bed. I look in the bathroom. But no Sticky. Mossy, 
Where have you put Sticky? <laughs> Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mossy and see if Mossy's lying on Sticky? I hadn't thought of that. Well, if I just look under here... Have you twins found Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma! Hmm. Come on, Mossy. Please stand up. Get up. I know. Sticky. I give up. I'll keep looking. Penny, look. Has Mossy shown you where she's put Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Silly, sleepy dog. Come down and see what I found for you instead. And if she doesn't bring Sticky back soon, I'll check on her myself. Here she comes. Come on, honey bun. What about this long stick, Topsy? It doesn't have a face like Sticky. What about this one? No, thank you, but I just want Sticky. Aww. Come and sit here. Do you know what I do when I lose things? No, Grandma. I find something else to do. And then, just when I've stopped thinking about the thing I've lost, I find it. Work? Always. Just you wait and see. Come and have some juice. And that was when I saw something. It was in our letterbox. A letter! Tim, a letter! Is it for us? Is this for us? I don't know. Let's see. Can you read whose name's on the front, Topsy? It says... Topsy and, and Tim! Tim. <laughs> we'll bring it into the kitchen and let's open it. Come on. Mummy, we've got a letter. Let's oh. open it together, Tim. <gasps> Is this an invitation? <laughs> to a party? Let's have a look. Topsy and Tim are invited to Vinda's Knights and Princesses party. How exciting. It's on Friday. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Vinda's party. We're, We're going, going to Vinda's party. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mossy. What have you got there? <laughs> Sticky. Good girl, Mossy. Sticky, where were you? Thanks, Mossy. Oh, that's right, Topsy. Give her a lovely cuddle to say thank you. You were right, Grandma. When I forgot about Sticky, I got her back. You see? Well, I think it's time for me and this staff dog to get going. We've got a long walk home. OK. Right, come on, Mossy. And that's when Mummy said, What, what are, are you going, going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party? What are you going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party, Topsy and Tim? I'm going to be a knight. Oh. <laughs> me too. <laughs> And I'm going to use Sticky as my sword. Lucky <laughs> you got her back then. And, and that said, Grandma, was that? Bye bye. Bye, Mossy. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> Today, Topsy's favourite stick, Sticky, went missing. But can you remember who ran away with Sticky? Was it Grandma? Or was it Mossy the dog? The answer is Mossy the dog. <coughs> Did you remember? Watch this. Squeeze! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 
Mussy likes our sticks. <laughs> and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely. Yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> sticky! Mossy's got sticky! Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. and I are making cardboard cut-up twins. <laughs> We're using the cardboard box our neighbour, Mr Fishwick, gave us. Nearly done, Tim. There we are. I've drawn around your whole body. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Mummy! Yes, Tim? Come and see. Look at my cardboard twin, Tim. Oh, that's great, Tim. I'll cut yours out just like Topsy's twin. My cardboard twin. Yes, here we go. Looks great. Topsy's twin looks great cut out. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Hello, twin Topsy. Doesn't really look like me yet. She needs a face. I'm going to go and colour her face in. and his mum have come round to pick up our old baby basket. Ready for Tony's new baby brother to sleep in when he's born. All right, your milk's on the side, children. Come on, Elaine, let's go up and get the baby basket. This is twin Tim. Hello. <laughs> I'm twin Tim. Hello, I'm Tony. Tony, do you want to colour this in with me? Yes, I'm really fast at colouring in. Me too. Careful! Sorry, Topsy. Let's dance! Tim. Yay! I found you, Ooh. King Twin Tim. I think King Twin Tim wants some milk. Yay! Let's sit him in. Careful. 
Milk for King Twin Tim. Tony, your mum's going now. Come on. Enjoy your milk, Your Majesty. Stop, 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 stop. Bye, Tony. Watch for the baby clothes and the baby basket, Joy. Oh, you're welcome. In fact, when we move, would you like Topsy and Tim's bunk beds? Really? Yeah. We'd love your bunk beds, wouldn't we, Tony? Yeah! No! You can't give our bunk beds away to Tony! Oh, Tim, you'll have separate bedrooms in the new house, with a new bed each. But... you can't give them away. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah. Bye, Tim. Come on, Tony. You bye, go. Tim. Bye, Joy. Oh, bye, Tony. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. There are bunk beds, Mum. You can't give them away. Tim. Topsy! 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 Guess what Mummy said? She said that... Tony World can have our bunk beds when we move to a new house. <sighs> what happened to King Twin Tim? I just knocked milk over him. I didn't mean to. Sorry, Tim. Mummy? Topsy ruined King Twin Tim. I'm sure King Twin Tim will be fine once we dry him off. Come and help me, Tim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Run King Twin Tim. And Mummy's giving away our bunk beds. <sighs> Mummy, why are you giving away our bunk beds to Elaine? Well, they'll need more beds when the new baby comes. I've just never slept on the top bunk before. It's not fair. <laughs> Tim! A bit later. I take Tim a biscuit to say sorry. Sorry about King Twin Tim. It's OK. Thanks for the biscuit. I like it down here on the bottom bunk. It's all cosy. I like it up here in the top bunk. It's so high. I know. Why don't we swap bunks? For yeah. tonight. Until we move the house. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. <laughs> okay, King Twin Tim is nearly dry, Tim. There you go. Thank you. Mummy, <laughs> we've decided that we want to swap bunks. Oh! From tonight. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. Okay, well, I think that's a really good idea, but not tonight, okay? Oh! I tell you what, if you help me tidy the bedroom, you can do it from tomorrow night. Okay? Yeah! And that's when Mummy said, Soon people will be coming to look at our house. <laughs> Soon people will be coming to look at our house. Who? What people? People who want to buy our house. And they want to come and see if they want to live here. Thank you. They would oh. like to live in this room. I think they'd really like this room, wouldn't they? This room is very big. <laughs> it's very big and lovely, but only when it's tidy. So help me clean it up. Look! <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was, was that? that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we made cardboard twins. But can you remember what we put on Twin Tim's head to make him King Twin Tim? Was it a sun hat? Or was it a crown? The answer is behind the cloud. Look! The answer is a crown. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. We go to Tillywinks Nursery School three mornings every week with our friend Kerry. Hi, 
Dominic, how are you doing? I'm all right, though. And today, we're all going to be given parts in the nursery school play. Come on, let's go. I want to know who I am in the three little pigs. Oh, of course, the play. How exciting. I want to be a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Do you want to be a pig as well, Kerry? Yeah. Mommy, can oink, you oink, oink. Let me help you with your helmet. Oink, oink, there oink, we oink, go. Oink. Oink, oink. Good oinking, oink, Tim. Oink. Now let me get your helmet oink, on. Oink, 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 here we oink, go, oink, Tim, oink, darling. Oink. Come here. Let me get your helmet on. Good boy. Oh, you're scratching your head a bit. Is it itchy? Yeah. Oink, oink. Did you um? Did you see the email from the nursery school last week? What? Um, yeah. Oh, nits, of course. Mm, well, it just might be. Nits? Mm. Tim, put your helmet down by the kettle for me. I need to get as much light as possible. Mummy tells us that our teacher, Miss Maple, sent an email saying some children at nursery have nits. Mummy checks Tim's hair. If you could not itch your head for me for just a minute. I know it's itchy, but just hold off. Mm. Oh, Dominique, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, he's definitely got nits, Tim. Mm. Oh. Nits make your hair itchy. I know that. Can we go to nursery now, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Topsy. Until I've got rid of Tim's nits, you can't go to nursery. Oh. Topsy, has your head been itching at all? Yes, a little bit. And how about yours, Kerry? No. Mine is very itchy. That's it, Kerry. Keep your head nice and still. How did Tim get nits, Mummy? Well, nits can spread from head to head when children play together. What are nits? They're little eggs that get in your hair and when they hatch they can make your head very itchy. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No nits for you? Yes! All right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got nits like Tim, Topsy. <laughs> I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come sit down. That's right, me. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special nit comb to get rid of nits. Right. Okay. Time to go, Kerry. Come on. Why aren't Topsy and Tim coming to nursery today? Well, they need to stay here so I can get rid of their nits so they don't pass them on to other children. Oh! Aww. It's all right. Come on, let's see them out. But we can't miss nursery today. What about the three little pigs? Oh, don't worry. I'll ask Miss Maple about your parts in the play. I promise. Oh, thanks, Dominique. Okay. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Dominique, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> not fair. So we don't go to nursery. We stay at home. And Mummy combs the nits out of my hair. It feels all slimy, Mummy. Why have you put hair conditioner in my hair? Because it makes it easier to comb the nits out. I've got sticky up ears like the three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Topsy. <laughs> oh, she's still upstairs, Tim. Mummy, mm -hmm. when will Topsy come down? Well, I'll go up and get her once I've finished your hair. Hi, Topsy. What are you doing in there? We're all having carpet time, like we have at nursery school. Topsy. You really wanted to go to nursery school today, didn't you? Yes. Will we still get our parts in the play, even though we're not there? Miss Maypole will make sure you still get a part. You'll see. Now, come on. I want little moon bunny. OK, you get little moon bunny. There you go. Girl, and then let's go and get rid of those nits so we can get you back to nursery school tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> I'm nearly there, Topsy. It's taking ages. 
gorgeous. Well, your hair is longer than Tim's. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Put on some special nip music <laughs> and dance for Topsy. <laughs> I do a nip dance. All clear, Topsy. I've got no nips. <laughs> I've no nip hair too. <laughs> We're the dancing on no nips. <laughs> right, Topsy, you're all done. I'll have to check you again in a couple of days, both of you, just to check there are definitely no more nips, okay? Okay, Mummy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good dancing. Right, Topsy, we need to get your hair washed and dried like Tim's and get you ready for nursery school, OK? Follow me. Mummy washes my hair. And dries and brushes it. And then... came round on their way home from nursery school. Guess what? I'm going to be a little piggy in the play. <laughs> oink, oink, oink! I hope I'm a little piggy too. Oink, oink! Oh, you might be, Topsy. <laughs> Miss Maypole gave Kerry these to give to you both. Inside it tells you what part you've been given. What part have I got, Mummy? <laughs> Am I a little pig? Oh, no, you're a house. A house? A house? Yes, you're the house. house that the little pigs build. I know that, but it's just not a proper part. Miss Mabel says it's a really good part. You get to play all three houses, Tim. Yes! <laughs> oh, and Topsy, this says that you are the big bad wolf. Yes! Oh, I'm a house made of straw. Oh. <laughs> I missed you today, Topsy and Tim. Oh. And that's when Kerry said, <laughs> Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? We will, won't we, Mummy? We want to do all of the nursery plays with Kerry. Oh, of course you can. I don't know what we'd do without our special friend Kerry. And that said, Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had itchy heads, but can you remember what Mummy used to comb the nits out of our hair? Was it a hairbrush? Or was it a nit comb? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a knit comb. Watch this. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No knits for you? Yes! Right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got knits like Tim, Topsy. I don't want any knits. Well, don't worry, Topsy. I had knits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come sit down. Right, it. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of knits. Right, okay. time to go, Kerry. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Carry your eggs carefully through to the kitchen, Topsy and Tim. Nursery was really fun today. We made dinosaur eggs out of paper and glue. Actually, mine is a Triceratops egg. Oh, and is yours still a Diplodocus egg, Tim? Yes. Diplodocus dinosaurs hatch out of eggs. Just like birds and snakes and crocodiles, Miss Maple told us. Oh, wow. Well, come on through to the kitchen. Let's pop them on the table. 
But the egg needs a warm, cosy nest to hatch. Gosh, you have learnt a lot about eggs today, haven't you? Well done. Who wants some juice? Yes, please, Mummy. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Tim. That means I can get the washing in. Wow, that is a big egg. Thank you, Tim. Topsy? I've got an idea. What? Maybe we could hatch a real egg. I don't think so. Look at this one. Mummy buys our eggs in the shop. They don't hatch. That's because they're too cold in the fridge. <laughs> if we make this big egg a warm nest, it might hatch. I don't think so. I'm going to try it. And so, I make a lovely cosy nest for the big egg. There you go, Eggie. Come on, Eggie. Hatch. Come. Come. Hmm. Maybe you're still not warm enough. I know a place that's warm. Catching our warm airing cupboard, Eggie. I'll look after you. Topsy, I've made a warm, cosy nest for my egg. Tim, when it hatches, will a real chicken come out? I don't know. Maybe it won't be a chicken. It was a big egg. <laughs> I wonder what we'll hatch out of it. Hmm. Please may I leave the table, Mummy. Yes, if you've finished. Don't forget to tidy your plate away, please. A nice cheese sandwich for you to eat when you hatch. Hmm. I wonder what you'll hatch into. Maybe you're a dinosaur egg. Rawr! Can I see you, Tim? Wow, you've made the nest really good. Thank you. Topsy. Maybe that egg is a dinosaur egg. But it's a secret. <clears throat> when it hatches, the dinosaur can live under our bunk bed, Tim. <gasps> Twins! Bath time! Shh! After our bath, we brush our teeth. Straight into bed, Twins. I'll be back up to read your stories. Then we check our big dinosaur egg again. Come on, Topsy. Is it hatching? <sighs> Not yet. Oh. But look. If we put our old baby monitor into the nest like this. When our little baby dinosaur hatches in the night, we'll hear it through the other one. Good idea. Topsy and Tim, uh, into bed, please. Let's get into bed quickly and listen. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Good night. Snuggly down. Sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Anything 
and ten? Not yet. Can I have a go at listening? Yeah, okay. Can you hear anything, Topsy? Is he catching? I don't think so, Tim. My turn, please. Thank you. We listened and listened, but we didn't hear anything. And then I think we fell asleep. Until. It's come out of its egg. Come on, let's go and look. Topsy and Tim, do you know about this? Sorry, Mummy. It's our dinosaur egg. It was going to be our very own pet dinosaur. But it's an egg from the fridge. It's a chicken egg. I'm not happy about this. Sorry, Sorry Mummy. Right, you two go back to bed and I'll clear this up. Mummy, don't be angry at Topsy. It was my idea and it was such a big egg. No. I helped as well, Tim. It was both of us. Sorry, Mummy. All right, you two. We'll talk about it in the morning after a good night's sleep. Night, night, Mummy. Now, Topsy and Tim, eggs from the fridge won't hatch. Even if you put them in a warm and cosy nest. And they certainly won't hatch into dinosaurs. Good, cos I don't think I want a dinosaur as our pet. Neither do I. It would be a bit scary. <laughs> and it wouldn't fit under our bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, I don't, I don't think, think our new house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur. I don't think our new house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur, but it will be big enough for a smaller pet. <gasps> We'd love a pet, Mummy. <laughs> yes, that'd be much better than a dinosaur. Yes, it would. Now, well, good night, Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. Sleep tight. Mummy, mm. do rabbits hatch out of eggs? No. Night, night. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Tim built a nest. But can you remember what he put in the nest to hatch? Was it Little Moon Bunny? Or was it an egg? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is an egg. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Here you go, Mummy. Thank you. It's not much space for them. No, it's full now, isn't it? Mummy and I are packing all of our books into boxes, ready to move them to our new house. Can I hold you down? Yes, please. Can you hold the tape for me? That's going to be Tony Welch and his mum. It's Elaine and Tony Welch. Oh, hi, Tony. Hi, Elaine. Come on Hello. in. Hello. Tony Welch and his mum are here with Tony's new baby brother to measure our bunk beds. They're having our bunk beds when we move. Isn't he adorable? Hi, Tony. Shh. Hi, Topsy. Why are you whispering? Baby Jack is sleeping. Where's Tim? In the kitchen with DIY Derek. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Can you put that down for us? Lovely. Hi, Tony. There. Thank you. 
and those. May I play with Baby Jack Elaine? Yes, of course, Topsy. When he wakes up. <laughs> when is he going to wake up, Elaine? <laughs> Not yet. Baby Jack needs his sleep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We need to be quiet. Baby Jack is asleep. Oh, OK. I've done the washing machine. What's next, Joy? Oh, great. Um, do you have a tape measure, please, Derek? Elaine, Tony's mum, is here to measure Topsington's bunk bed. I certainly do. <laughs> now, do you want me to measure it for Tony's mum, or do you two want to measure it with me using my tape measure? Yeah. And get to work quietly. Come on. Topsy, look. Come on. Come here. What are we doing? We're measuring our bunk beds for Tony Welch. Sleep on the top like you, Tim, and these banks in my bedroom. Good. Oh, now let's measure them for your mum to check they'll fit in your bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's have the tape measure. Right, now then. Tony Welch, I want you to hold that there at the end of the bed. Mm. Okay, Derek. Topsy, can you take the rest of the tape measure right to the other end of the bed? Is it okay if little moon bunny helps? I think that's a very good idea. Right to the end. Can you reach? Just. That's good. Well done. OK, that's that's nice and straight. OK, now let me take that. Let me see how long the beds are. Oh! <laughs> I slipped out of my fingers. Sorry, Derek. That's all right. Never mind. We'll try again, shall we? Yeah. Everyone? OK, yeah. let's try again. Right. Hold it nice and tight there, Tony Welch. Topsy, same again. I might not do it with Little Moon Bunny this Without time. Without Little Moon Bunny this time's a good idea. <laughs> right. Well done. OK, I've got it. Both of you move away so I can see. And let's see what the measurement for this one is. 94... To... <laughs> oh, it slipped out of my fingers again. Sorry, Derek. Never mind. You two are not very good using the tape measure, are you? <laughs> I know. Tony Wells, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? I don't know. Well, I'll show you, shall I? OK. Now, Topsy, you hold Dr Sausage Dog's nose it, at there. It's quite high. It is quite high, but you can reach. That's good. Now, you put your hand right on the end, like that, there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go nose to tail. Nose to tail. <laughs> All the way along the bed. OK? Is that good? OK, so nose to tail. tail. Topsy, you do two. that. That's two. And nose, nose to, to tail. tail. Three. That's three. Together, we move Dr Sausage Dog along the bunk bed four times. Just about four Dr Sausage Dogs. There we are. Our bunk bed's four Dr Sausage Dogs. Yeah, right. Better write that down. Four... Dr Sausage Dogs. There's some tea down in the kitchen for you, Derek, Thank and you. some juice for your helpers. Yay! Coming, Mummy! I'm bringing Little Moon Bunny to show Baby Jack. Good idea. <sighs> Did you know the bunk beds are four Dr Sausage Dogs long, Mrs Odell? Really? <laughs> that is good work. Isn't it? <laughs> now then, shall we measure how high they are? Yeah! Come down here, then, and let's measure how high they are. I want to be finished measuring our bunk beds and had our drinks. But Baby Jack is still asleep. <laughs> when will Baby Jack wake up, Elaine? Oh, I'm sure it won't be long now, Topsy. Right. Thanks for the tea, Joy, and I hope the move goes well. Oh, thanks for your help, Derek. Uh... And thanks for your clever way of measuring the bunk beds. I've got all my Dr Sausage Dog measurements, thank you. Ah, well, no, don't thank me. Thank my helpers, Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. We're Topsy and Tim and Tony. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got to go. Bye, all. <laughs> Bye, Derek. Bye. The tape measure! Derek! Derek! Phew. He slept through all 
the noise. No need to look so worried, Helper. And thank you for that. Bye, all. Oh, thanks for coming, Derek. See you soon. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. 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 Oh. Baby Jack's never going to wake up and play with me. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk now. Baby Jack's waking up. I'll speak to you later. Yes, Baby Jack's awake. Do you like Little Moon Bunny? Oh. Hello, Baby Jack. Oh, he's gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> he's not answering. <laughs> not yet. Baby Jack had to milk, a burp and a nappy change and then he was ready to play with us. Hello, I'm Millie Teddy. Hi, and I'm Little Moon Bunny. Hello, Baby Jack. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what about Dr Sausage Dog? <laughs> He's reaching for Dr Sausage Dog. Oh. Look, Mum! Oh, look at that big Baby Jack smile. He's never smiled like that before. Oh. You're right. <laughs> it's his first big smile. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. And that's what Mummy said. Next time we play with Baby Jack, we'll be in our new house. Next time we play with Baby Jack, we'll be in our new house, Topsy and Tim. He won't even remember that we ever lived in this house. Isn't that strange? I'll never forget this house, Baby Jack. <laughs> We've lived in this house since we were babies. Like you, we love our house. And you'll love our new house just as much. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the mummy. What's that? <laughs> 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 Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we measured our bunk beds with DIY Derek. Can you remember which toy we used to measure our bunk beds? Was it Eddie Teddy? Or was it Dr. Sausage Dog? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dr. Sausage Dog. Watch this. I know. Tony Welch, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr. Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr. Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Topsy, Tim, can you come up and help, please? OK, Dad! Dad wants us to help him with our bunk beds. Tony Welch and his mum and dad will be here soon to collect them. Yeah. Oh, our bedroom looks really strange. It doesn't look like our bedroom anymore. Well, by tonight, you'll have a new bedroom. One each. Yes! <laughs> I love our bunk beds. Tony Welch will love them too. <laughs> Dad, mm -hmm. please may I keep this sticker from the bunk bed? Yeah, that's a good idea, Tim. Topsy, why don't you choose a sticker to keep too? Excuse me, please, Dad. Okay. I'll have this butterfly sticker. Okay. I'll look after them for you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Right, better get these downstairs. And remember, you can stick your stickers on your new beds in your new bedroom tonight. I can't wait! <laughs> Tony Welch! Oh, go on down, you two. But it isn't Tony Welch at the door. It's the removal people. Wow, that's huge! It's all black. Today, all of our furniture is going to be put into this removal van. Better ask Sid. Let's go. And then Sid and Lorna will drive it all to our new house. Can we come up, please, Sid? Yes, you can. Come on. There we go. Hold tight. Up we go. Wow. 
This removal van is huge. I love the lift on the back. Hmm. Will all of our furniture fit in here, Sid? <laughs> yes, Tim, it will. Hmm. We'll start by getting our toys for you. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Come on. Oh, yeah! Come on, Tim! Here we go. Find your toes. I bring all of my favourite toys downstairs and put them in the trolley, ready to go to the removal van. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, Gary. Oh, hi, Tim. Hi. Make way for the bunk bed, please. Hello. We brought you a present. Oh. The blueberry muffins. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Carrie. Can I have one, please? Of course you can, once we finish packing. Thank you. <laughs> we should make some more so I can have one, Mummy. Mm, we <laughs> should. Well, we better get going, cos we're going to wave you off later. I'll wave goodbye to... See you later. I'll wave goodbye later, Tim. Bye! Okay, bye. Bye, bye! 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 Have you got all your toys, Tim? Um, yes, Dad. I've got all of mine and Topsy's just upstairs getting little moon bunny. Topsy! Are you ready? Look at it, Teddy. Nearly everything's gone. The house is nearly empty. Our toys are ready to be driven to our new house now. Careful of little moon bunny. He's right on the bottom. Now he's on the top. <laughs> With Eddie Caddy and Dr. Sausage. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Can I just say, you two have been the biggest help today. Moving house makes me feel happy and sad at the same time, Dad. And me. Me too. Tea break, everyone. <gasps> Good. Dad has a cup of tea on the front lawn, then pretends to fall asleep in the armchair. <laughs> Wake up, Dad. <laughs> Dad, were you asleep? No, <laughs> I was resting my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll just get the screws for the bunk bed. It's heavy. Tony Welch! Hello, Tim. Hello, Topsy. I come to collect your bunk beds. <laughs> Are you going to sleep on the top or the bottom bunk, Tony? I think I might sleep on the top bunk. Good choice. Help me lift this, Tony. Oh, and what do you say? <laughs> Thank you for the bunk bed, Stopsy and Tim. Oh, it's OK. It's very kind of you both. Oh, Stopsy and Tim, come inside, please. <laughs> we need to say bye-bye to our house. Oh, yeah. We went back inside one more time and we said goodbye to every room. Now, we just need to say goodbye out here. Bye, house. Bye, garden. Bye, front door. We will miss you. We've had some great times in this little house, haven't we? Yeah. But we're going to have even more <laughs> wonderful adventures in our new house. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Everyone ready to go? Yes. 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 Come on.
Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr. Fishwick. Now, I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. Yeah, I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fishwick. Mind your fingers. Bye bye. bye. Come and visit us in our new house soon. We will. Here we go. And that said, everyone, was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were moving house. Can you remember what Mr. Fishwick gave us as a moving house present? Was it a rabbit or was it a guinea pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr. Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian. Yes. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr. Fisher. Fisher. Thank you. My pleasure. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Coming to rescue you, Brendan. Perry's come round to show us her costume for Winda's party tomorrow. It's a Knights and Princesses party. You're a really pretty <laughs> princess, Carrie. Thank you, Topsy. I'm going to be a red knight at Binder's party. What are you going to be, Tim? I'm going to be a green knight. Do you want to see our costumes, Oh, Carrie? yes, please, Topsy. Okay. <laughs> um... Carrie, your mum's here. Oh, we were about to show Carrie our knight costumes. Tomorrow, Topsy, at Binder's party. But right now, Carrie's mum needs her to go. I'm going shopping with my mummy to go and buy Vinda's birthday present. <laughs> we need to buy Vinda a birthday present too, mummy. I've already bought Vinda's present. You'll see. Come on, let's go down. Come on, Topsy. Come on, Tim. So we say goodbye to Kerry. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Joy. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Kerry. See you soon, darling. Bye, Bye. Dominique. And mummy tells us that Vinda's birthday Bye. present is being delivered to our house soon by the supermarket delivery van. I'll see it before you. No, I will. I'll see the van before you. What is Finder's present, Mummy? What have we bought her? Just keep looking out of the window for me, please, Topsy and Tim. See if you can see that van. We wait for the supermarket van for ages. Eddie, Teddy and Little Moon Bunny help. Can you see anything, Little Moon Bunny? I think it will be Howard delivering all the shopping today. No, Stuart. Actually, Rosie! <laughs> yes, Rosie! Mm. I think I heard the van. Really? There it is! <gasps> I can see it! Mummy! It's here! Right, twins. Oh, hello, Rosie. Come here. It's Rosie! Hello, Rosie! I hope to meet you, Rosie! Oh, hi, Topsy. Hi, Tim. <laughs> and hello, you two cuddly toys, too. Right, <laughs> shall we get the shopping into the kitchen? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Mummy. Oh, is it someone's birthday? Yes, it's our friend Vinda's birthday. We're going to her party tomorrow. Her present's in one of these bags. Lucky Vinda. Now, shall we write our names as usual? Yes! Mummy, can you sign your name here for the shopping? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and whose turn is it to when write their write... name next to Mummy's? It's mine this time. OK, Tim, you write your name nice and clearly for Rosie, please. OK. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely writing. Thank and you. it's your turn next time, Topsy. OK. All right, I've got to go. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Bye, Bye Rosie. Bye. Mummy, stickers, a sticker book. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? That's what I found. <laughs> oh, and there's the <laughs> card. Did you buy wrapping paper to wrap up Vince's present, Mummy? Yes. It's on those seats. Oh, the supermarket must have forgotten to send it. Oh, no. Um. We don't have any wrapping paper to wrap up Flinders' present with. Don't worry, I'll call Dad and ask him to get some on his way home. Yes! Yes! Hi, Bri, it's me. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, please could you pick up some wrapping paper for us on the way home? OK, no, no, no problem. Yeah, OK, we'll see you later. Bye! Yes! yes. What, what did he say, Mummy? What did he say? Oh, Daddy's a bit too busy at work, so he can't pick any up at the moment. We'll have to think of something else. Well, Vinda's birthday party is tomorrow. Yeah. What are you going to do? I know! We can make our own wrapping paper! That is a fantastic idea, Topsy. Why don't you two put your aprons on and I'll get all this tidied up. Now you rip it, Tim. Yes! Vinda loves butterflies, so I'm going to paint butterflies on her wrapping paper. I'm going to paint multicoloured spots. Right. Painting the wrapping paper is easy, but waiting for it to dry takes ages. After a bath, I come down to see if it's ready. It's dry! I'll wrap the present and I'll do the sticky tape. Okay, sticky um, tape. Where is it? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Tim, you sit in there for me. Topsy, you come and sit in here. Brilliant. I'll wrap the present. Okay. Perfect wrapping twins. Great teamwork. Are you done? Nearly. Yeah. We just need one more piece. <laughs> one more piece. There you go. Yay! Yes! Perfect. Well now for the card. Yeah. Happy birthday. Love. From. Tim, but I found this in my van. Butterfly wrapping paper. Is it to wrap Vinda's birthday present? Yes! Oh, yes! Good. I thought it was yours. I'll see you next time. Wish Vinda a happy birthday from me. Aww. OK. Bye! 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 Thank you! <laughs> so, shall we unwrap Vinda's 
present to wrap it in this paper, Tim? No, I've got an idea. Maybe we could wrap this wrapping paper over our wrapping paper. Like our sparsel. Yeah. Good idea, Tim. It's your turn to wrap this time. I like wrapping presents. I love opening presents. Well, it's your next birthday very soon, so you'll have lots of presents to open then, won't you? Yes! And that's when Mummy said, I can't, I can't believe, believe my, my little, little twins, twins are going to be five years old. I can't believe my little twins are going to be five years old on their next birthday, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> five? Wow! <laughs> it's a big number! I think we should have a fabulous five birthday party at our new house. What do you think? Yeah! yeah. Please. <laughs> right. Let's get wrapping this present so that you two can get off to bed and be wide awake for Vinda's party tomorrow. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we wrapped Brinda's present. Was her present a teddy bear? Or was it a sticker book? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a sticker book. Watch this. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? That's what I found. Oh, there's a card. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon.